A new discovery shows promise for slowing coronary artery disease. Taiwan and U.S. researchers found that by inhibiting a chemical medication in mRNA, which stands for messenger ribonucleic acid, they can reduce the buildup of fatty deposits in the blood vessels of mice. Formosa News reporter Stephanie Yang has the story. Obesity, an unhealthy diet, and aging are some of the main risk factors of coronary artery disease. These factors contribute to the accumulation of fatty deposits in major blood vessels that supply the heart, reducing blood flow and potentially causing sudden cardiac arrest. In a new study, research teams in Taiwan and the U.S. have discovered that inhibiting a chemical modification in mRNA may help reduce the accumulation of fatty deposits in blood vessels and help prevent coronary artery disease. Found uh, important or vitro molecule called metal 3 it can inhibit RNA methylation. Moreover, uh, this methylation can regulate uh, atherosclerosis formation, we call it astrogenesis. So I think this uh, research are, are very, very important to claim RNA modification can regulate or uh, impair the, informa uh, the formation of the atherosclerosis. Researchers at Taipei Veterans General Hospital, National Yangming Jiao Tong University, and the University of California, San Diego, spent five years on their study. They used gene therapy to inhibit mRNA methylation in mice and were able to decrease the inflammation of coronary arteries and fatty deposits accumulation by 50%. If we discover mRNA methylation, we can target this chemical modification with gene therapy and achieve a very good therapeutic effect. We're able to significantly reduce the original plaque buildup. This is what's called precision treatment. In this precision therapy, we first find patients who present more severe methylation. We then are able to target this to provide further treatment. Of course, human trials are needed, so we'll be conducting those going forward. Coronary artery disease was responsible for 27.5 percent of all deaths in Taiwan in 2019. It's ranked the second highest cause of death following cancer at 28.6 percent. Researchers believe their findings can help advance the development of new medicines and provide doctors tools to prevent coronary artery disease early on. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Li Qi in Taipei.